today I'm making uh, some ribs on the barbecue, some smoked ribs on the barbecue. Um, again, if you've uh, watched uh, my other videos, uh, you know I don't have a smoker back here. Uh, it's a regular gas barbecue, uh, but I've been smoking on that uh, all year and it's giving me some uh, pretty good results. Obviously, like I keep repeating, it's not going to give you the same uh, result as a uh, real smoker, but um, it gives you some pretty good results if you don't have a smoker. So uh, here I have two nice racks of ribs. Um, the first thing that uh, I'm going to need to do is to remove uh, the silver skin uh, on, off the, uh, the rib. Um, if you see that it's uh, that you don't you can't touch the, the actual bones or the meat, that means that there's a, a silver skin which we can see here, and it comes off pretty easily. Uh, what you need to do is to uh, usually use um, some kind of butter knife and uh, insert it underneath uh, the piece of skin here and then just pull it right off. Um, it's easier to do it with a paper towel uh, because your hands, uh, with your hands it might slip off, but normally it should come off just like that. So um, some people don't take it off, uh, but when you eat some ribs and you find that you have some uh, chewy pieces, that's probably the, the silver skin uh, in the back. Uh, me, I always take it off, I find it's better. So I'm putting a bit of, uh, of of oil, it's just a light coating of oil, not too much. Uh, the reason is really to, for the, uh, the rub to really stick properly to the meat. So um, I'm going to do it on both. So now I'm going to put the rub on the first side. I want to a, uh, put a good coating of, uh, of rub. Don't be shy. Uh, you really want to cover every piece of uh, all the, the, the meat and every uh, every section of the um, of the actual rib right so we're going to turn the rib over do the same thing on the other side so first a light coat in the oil and then more rub on the back side of the ribs so now my ribs are seasoned so now i'm going to set up my barbecue and I'm going to let the ribs rest for a few minutes. So to add some smoke flavor to the ribs, um, I'm going to be uh, putting a smoke box on the, the gas grill with some wood chips. So here I have some apple and cherry wood chips that are soaking in water. And um, I soaked them for about 30 minutes. And then I'm going to put them in the smoke box that I have here. And I'm going to put it on the, uh, the gas grill while the ribs are, are cooking so that, um, so that I get some smoke flavor on the ribs. Okay, so I've, uh, what I've done is I've uh, drained uh, the wood chips, as you can see here, and I put it on my smoke box. And as you can see, it's going nicely. Uh, so now I'm ready to uh, put the, uh, the ribs on the barbecue. I forgot to mention these are uh, back ribs. These are pork back ribs. Uh, so they've been resting for about uh, 30 minutes. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them on the barbecue in on indirect heat. So the two burners on the right hand side here, these two are off. The only one that's on is the one under the smoke box. So you can see the smoke is billowing. So that's going to give some uh, smoke flavor to the meat. Put them on here. on the barbecue. And as you can see, uh, the barbecue is at, right now it's at 275, 270, 280. Um, I wanna keep it under 300. Uh, on a gas grill, uh, the temperature is gonna be different than on a, a smoker. Um, but uh, on this gas grill, I've smoked a few times on this one and uh, 300 between 275 and 300 is uh, the perfect temperature for the ribs if it goes a little bit over 300 i'm not too worried uh, as long as it doesn't go uh, to 325 when it hits 325 i'm going to lower the heat or the burner underneath the smoke box to make sure that um, the, the barbecue doesn't uh, doesn't go too too much higher than 300 and once it goes back down to 275 then i put uh, the burner back on high all right so the ribs have been on the barbecue for about one hour um, you can see the smoke box is still going 
And uh, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be um, giving them a good spray of, uh, of a mixture in a spray bottle that I have here. So I have a mixture of uh, apple juice, pineapple juice and apple cider vinegar. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to sp spray the, uh, the ribs with uh, this mixture uh, to make sure that they stay moist and that they don't, uh, they don't dry up on the barbecue. It's going to add also a, an extra layer of taste to the uh, to the ribs so before I do that I'm gonna take my spatula here and I'm gonna move the ribs around so basically I'm gonna take the one furthest away from from the heat and take the one that's closest to the heat and bring it further away so just to make sure that I have that they get the same amount of uh, heat and smoke for both of them. So I'm going to go ahead and spray the ribs with the mixture that I have. All right, so the ribs have been on the barbecue for two and a half hours. Um, the uh, Wood chips have pretty much burned out so they're not giving up any more smoke um, so that's pretty much as uh, as long as I want to keep them keep the ribs uh, smoking so now I'm gonna take him off the barbecue bring him inside and I'm gonna wrap them in tin foil and I'm gonna put some uh, some sugar and some sauce in there to uh, to put them back on the barbecue wrapped in tin foil um, so that they can tenderize and uh, the rest of the fat can render out all right, so I'm back inside here and I have my tin foil ready. Um, I have my ribs that, that were taken off for the barbecue. And uh, I'm going to wrap them in tin foil and put them back on the barbecue. Uh, but before I do that, uh, I'm going to put a little bit of butter at the bottom, um, underneath the, uh, the ribs. And just a little touch, maybe a, a teaspoon or two teaspoons of butter underneath. And then I'm going to take one of the racks. I'm going to put them meat down on that and then I'm going to put a little bit of butter just on top, not a lot, maybe like I said two teaspoons per sides and then I'm going to add some barbecue sauce to the, uh, to the ribs. And I'm going to add some, uh, some sugar. This is basically cooked coconut sugar. I'm going to add just a little bit of uh, sugar. This is going to caramelize and give it really a, a nice taste. So basically, I'm going to add a little bit of pineapple juice. This is just to have some, um, some liquid. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap up, I'm going to wrap the, uh, the ribs nice and tight. And I'm basically going to put them back on the barbecue. Um, I'm going to do the same thing for the other rack. Put it back on the barbecue um, on indirect heat again. Same thing as before. The only difference is I'm not going to have the smoke box there because since the ribs are wrapped, you don't need any more smoke. Anyways, even if you have smoke, it's not going to get to the meat because they're inside a an aluminum foil. So, all right. So I I put my uh, ribs back on the barbecue. I removed the smoke box, and I'm going to let them go for about two to three hours, depending on um, how long it takes for them to become tender and fall fall off the bone. Um, again, the barbecue temperature, I want to keep it between 275 and 300, same thing as before. Alright, so the ribs have been on the barbecue for uh, two hours wrapped in foil. And I want to show you how I check to see for tenderness. So, the first thing is to check to see um, if, if, they, if it bends easy. If it doesn't bend that easily, that means that the, they're not very tender yet. And you can see that they're, they're bending a bit. 
but not that much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them back on the on the on the, the barbecue, and I'm going to let them go for at least another hour. So now it's been three hours, and you can tell that it's a lot. Um, it bends pretty quickly. I uh, can't even take it off the barbecue this way, so I'm going to take him off now. Um, the sun has gone has gone down quite a bit now because we're a lot later in the day. So <clears throat> now they're ready to uh, be unwrapped, and I'm going to put some barbecue sauce and put them back on the grill for maybe 15-20 minutes just to um, to uh, put a glaze on them. So now you can see that uh, the ribs uh, on the back side, we can see the bones. Um, that means that the fat is rendered out of the meat and uh, they're probably really tender. Uh, they're ready to eat as is, uh, but I'm gonna put them back on the grill. I'm gonna put some barbecue sauce on top of them and put them back on the barbecue for about 15 minutes. Uh, this will put a nice glaze on top of the, um, of the ribs and it'll give it an extra layer of flavor. So um, a little bit of barbecue sauce on the grill like this, and in 15 minutes, we're ready to eat. The taste test. This is uh, meat candy, that I call it. So we're gonna see what it tastes like. Wow, that's really good. I taste the smoke. I can taste the... Um,